What's up, everybody? I'm John. I'm Isaac. And last time we found out that our cozy coop does not do a wheelie from a standstill, but it feels like it wants to at speed, which is terrifying. So naturally, we're gonna make the gearing taller to give us a higher top speed in today's video. We're also gonna be adding a chain steering wheel that you guys thought would be a great addition to this build. We're gonna add uh, the charging system to this engine, which is very important. And we're also gonna add a spring to the brakes that are gonna help them return better and just function better overall. Top speed right now is around 40 to 45 miles an hour. We think 60 would be a great place to be in this build. So let's get busy. Okay, so there's, there's the chain steering wheel. We need to modify it to get it to work. But once we modify it, we'll be able to fit the coop part, the top of the cozy coop back on. All right, this is gonna be the part that really hurts. I'm gonna have to take this beautiful steering wheel that I've been holding on to for years. And we are gonna cut it down to fit the cozy coop. Dude, I think it's gonna be worth it. Of course, it's easy for me to say. It's not mine. When was the last time you saw a chain steering wheel? Let's cut this thing down. Yep, we gotta make it more shallow. Well, do we have to? Yeah. Okay. Ready to try the top? Yeah, dude. I, I sure hope. I sure hope it'll fit right. I tell you what, buddy. I'm happy with that. Yeah, you couldn't ask for a tighter fit. Yeah. There we go. Do you want to try to climb in or? Oh, <laughs> oh, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. I got it. <laughs> I can ride it like this. That, <laughs> looks, that looks scary, man. That is scary. I can do it. You want to try it? Sure. <laughs> Don't get your uh, pants chain caught in your steering wheel chain, man. Pants chain? Yeah. Nope. All right, wasn't meant to be. I'm putting you in there, John. Uh, you can't do it, so. Oh. I thought there was a chance for a minute. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> nope. And even if we were to modify the top to make it fit, wouldn't it look goofy this tall? Yeah, it really would. All right, so we don't have a voltage regulator or a rectifier in order to make the charging system work today. Um, we're gonna check one of Ike's parts bikes in his junkyard, but we're just not gonna do that today. So we're gonna move on to changing the sprocket. We have four sprockets in this drive line right now. Changing one of them, depending on where it is in the drive line, could either make a very small difference or a very big difference. We think that because this is the second sprocket we're gonna be changing, it's gonna make a big difference. I'm sure there's a way you can work it out with math. I just don't know how to do it. So we have a 20 tooth here in the jack shaft and we're gonna replace it with a 16. It'd be nice to see a top speed of 60 miles an hour in fifth gear at red line. Right now we think it's between 40 and 45. So this gear change could be our way to victory. <laughs> Cool. So you know how to get it back together? Yeah. Good idea. Thank you. And here's the gear we're changing. The old one's a 20 tooth. New one is a 16. Probably not going to be doing any more third gear burnouts, man. No. I'm hoping, I'm hoping with this gear change, Third gear will be like 
well, first gear will be like third gear was. That's my hope. Okay. All I got to say is, dude, those welds are beautiful. Oh, thanks, man. Beautiful job. Appreciate it, buddy. I don't remember which way this was on the gear. So you know how to get it back together? Yeah. Gonna, to be safe, I'm gonna go to this way. Well, the new sprocket has been installed. Everything is back together. All we need to do is put some gas on this thing, load it up on the trailer, go take it for another rip. Can you tell the difference? Yeah, it's the same as before, except it like definitely you can tell there's a lot more wheel spin. But top speed, you feel like there's more top definitely. speed? Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. When I say more wheel spin, like it, it there's more wheel speed, but right. it still has the torque to spin the wheels That's awesome. whenever. That's awesome. So. Okay. So I'm going to go down the big lane. All right. And, uh, you know, see how fast I can go. Way more top end. Way more top end? Yeah, what did that sound like? Maybe six grand to you in fifth gear? Oh, I couldn't tell. That's a right. So you did 43. Oh, I was 40, 40.4. Okay. It's got it's got 55 in it easy. All right. Um, do you want to try? Sure, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, it's just the gravel's loose and those poles are big. <laughs> stone sir tell me how fast 52.7 and it still had more in it yeah that's, <laughs> for this road that is scary I've been 52 this... miles yeah. per hour down this road yeah it's got an easy 60 miles per hour in it third, third gear this is third gear okay are you ready yep
know you usually don't turn stuff this hard. You that are. Was, that was first, that second, one. third, fourth. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good, man, but oh, it's awesome. I say we get an upgraded axle. Uh -huh. And if we really want to kind of help ourselves out in the traction department, we uh -huh. get a lighter weight, stickier tire. Okay. Um, if we want to. But I think the axle upgrade is a must. Yeah. You see a lot of axle flex. Sometimes more than others. It's weird. Well, what, what it's doing is it's grabbing the really stiff spots. Yeah. A lot of rock. Ver rock versus dirt. Or, you know, sand. Yeah, the different types of yeah. soil. So awesome so we found out today that uh the cozy coop has a top speed of at least 52.7 miles an hour we think more like 60 which is right where we wanted to be we're gonna find out for sure when we put this thing on the dyno to see how much power it's making too uh coming up soon so be sure to subscribe for that and uh, thanks for watching this video guys leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it today and check us out in between videos for sneak peeks on our future builds or what we're up to on facebook and instagram at cars and cameras reviews and isaac at isaac it'll be fine check me out uh perfect yeah i think this thing just has turned out very very well so far we only have a few things left to do and then we can paint it put the top on it we can go to car shows we can uh, go to swap meets, build a little trailer for it, just be able to putt around for a sweet little parts hauler, and it'll do 60 plus miles an hour, or at least 50 plus miles an hour right now. It's great. So let us know what you think. What else do you want to see us do with the uh, Cozy Coop Tot Rod? And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.